Hello everyone, welcome to today's pick a card reading. These are the piles you can choose from today. Card 1, card 2, and card 3. And if you could please choose with your intuition, you will really appreciate it. And the timestamps for each pile are down below. If this video helped you out, please consider sharing and subscribing so that more people can grow with tarot. Hello pile number 1, if you could please take a few deep breaths with me so we can become more grounded and in tune with our intuition, I would really appreciate it. Hello there, pile number one. You got the Ace of Swords, the Hermit, and the Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords talks about clarities and new ideas, with the numerology in one talking about new ideas and the individual. The Hermit talks about wisdom and solitude, taking time to yourself to explore inner wisdom, with the numerology in nine meaning nearing completion. The Eight of Pentacles talks about hard work and productivity and mastering your craft. It has the numerology number eight meaning movement and transition. You see here with this Ace of Swords that this hand is holding a single sword up, but it is not a regular sword, it is a crowned sword, and the arm is made out of smoke, which is that energy of fast movement. What this arm is holding is not something regular, it is something special, it is a good idea or good communication coming your way. And the Hermit with his lantern and his stick is being guided, and he has the wisdom and he has what it takes to get through this journey but he has to go through it on his own and trust his own inner guidance and with the eight of pentacles clearly this person has been putting in a lot of work but their work is on display their work is not going to go unnoticed so pile number one you may be having a fast communication or a good idea and this is something good for you but you need to make sure that you trust your inner guidance and you walk the path and you put in the work necessary because the work that you put in is directly what you're going to get back. I have a few questions I'd like you guys to consider based on these energies. I'll have a document below that you can download or fill out digitally so you guys can keep track of these energies and answer the questions as thoroughly as possible if that's something you're interested in. The first thing I want to know is what that communication or idea that you're having is. And if you're not sure, what do you want it to be? Next, I would like to know where the inner light and inner wisdom is pointing you. And last but not least, what actions can you be taking to put work into that goal? Thanks so much for watching pile number one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to pause the video if you need to write the questions down. Hello pile number two, if you could take a few moments to take with me so we can become more in tune with our intuition and more grounded. I would really appreciate it. So the cards in your pile are the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups represents love and relationships, not necessarily just the romantic kind though. And the numerology of one signifies new beginnings in the individual. The Seven of Wands signifies obstacles in your path, and sometimes an energy of defensiveness. And the Knight of Pentacles signifies long-term abundance and steady progress, with a key elemental combination of air and earth signifying their connection to communication and the pinnacles signifying the connection that they have to earth and stability. You can see this cup is overflowing with water, which is the equivalent of emotions and intuition. And this person is fighting off these sticks when there's clearly obstacles. And this knight of pinnacles is standing tall. Well, he's sitting tall. He's riding tall and he knows where he's going and he's got his pinnacle in hand, knowing that every little step counts. You guys will be receiving a love gift soon. And that doesn't necessarily mean a new relationship, but it could be something new within a relationship. Some kind of love gift, and I need you guys to make sure 
you are assertive and and strategic at this time instead of defensive that is the message i am getting for you guys you need to be courageous and listen to your intuition don't crack under the pressure don't be defensive it's going to be all right this knight of pentacles shows that slow and steady progress whatever small steps you take will bring you in the right direction keeping these energies in mind i have a few questions i would like to ask you guys and i have a downloadable sheet below that you can print or fill out digitally so you can keep track of these energies and follow along if you'd like my first question about this gift of love is how can you guys give yourself the gift of love today and my second question is how can you work to stave off defensiveness while staying assertive and last but not least i'd like to ask you guys what small actions you can take today to get closer to your goals like the nine of pentacles here Thank you, pile number two, so much for watching. If you could like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, it really helps me out. Thank you. Hello, pile number three. If you could take a few moments to take three deep breaths with me so we can become more grounded and in tune with our intuition, I would appreciate it. So, pile number three, you have a beautiful spread here with the Ten of Swords, the World, and the King of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords signifies the end of a painful cycle and a new transformation for new beginnings. The World signifies successful completion and the end of a cycle and reaping rewards. While the King of Pentacles signifies wealth and generosity. You can see here with the Ten of Swords that a person lay on the ground with ten swords in their back. This is the end of a cycle, but it was a painful cycle, and each sword was a lesson that they had to learn, and they also had to learn how to let it go and transform, knowing that each of these lessons have served its purpose. The world card signifies successful completion and reaping reward. She has a wand in each hand, which is symbolic of everything that has been created and a wreath around her indicating victory and success. Now is the time to reap your rewards and celebrate the lessons that you've learned from this Ten of Wands. And last but not least, we see this King of Pentacles on his throne with vines all around him and a castle in the background. He not only gets to enjoy his wealth, but he shares with the people around him. Pile number three, it seems like you guys have been going through a painful cycle, but it is over now and you can take those lessons that you learned and you can reap the rewards of them and you can celebrate learning them and you know that you got important things out of them and that they had to happen. And while you're celebrating these rewards, you will find stability and you will be able to share them and express your generosity. Before you go, pile number three, I'd like to ask you a few questions and I will have the prompt for this down below for you to download or fill out digitally if that's something you're interested in. The first question I'd like to ask you is what lessons did you learn with this Ten of Swords? My second question is what you would like this new cycle with the world to look like while you're reaping your rewards. And last but not least, how can you embody this energy of the King of Pentacles? with his connection to passion, action, and leadership. Thank you so much, Pile 3, for watching, and if you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please consider sharing and subscribing so that we can help more people grow with